Yo, hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to mod Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And there's going to be a few disclaimers. First of all, th you are doing this at your own risk. Second of all, you always want to keep your Wi-Fi on. Even if, and the only way you can play online with your friends is if you want to, if you want to go into arena battles. So, that's all the disclaimers. So, now let's get into it. So, you want to go to the link in the description and download release.zip and skyline.zip. And I personally keep this stuff on my USB drive. So, I, so here's release and skyline. So, I'm going to open up Nintendo Switch. And then you shouldn't have ultimate. You should only have, at, like, all this other stuff, really. Not all this other stuff but whatever's on your sd card so first you want to open up the release.zip and just drag and drop atmosphere onto your sd on the root and it'll, it'll say merge together just merge and now skylines skylines going to be a little different to its dot you want to open up atmosphere contents and then find your newly added folder and if you didn't have and if you don't have this folder restart the guide so it should say 01006A800016E00. Now you want to open this ROM and then open up and then just drag it into here. Now that you're done with that, create a folder called Ultimate on the root of your SD card. Now go make a folder called Mods and drag and drop all your mods in here. So now that all your mods are in there, you find you'll find some mods. So I have so I have my Broly DBS micro moveset by Mastako. Mastako is a great creator and he makes perfect mods for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and other games like Dragon Ball Z Universe 2. And always read the readme. Read me. So it requires NRO hook, lib smash line plugin, Arcropolis, Skyline, Paraconfig one slot effects in the CSK collection. So, and, and make sure to subscribe to his Patreon because you'll get the Goku mod, like the one in my, in my folder right here, and I will showcase that. So, just go on into here and drag and drop it in here. And I will show you to put NRO files in your, in, and how to get that stuff working because it said use the lib smash line plugin and all that. So you wanna go to atmosphere, contents, uh, the same folder that you just created and have EXEFs in. So you wanna go to ROMFS, skyline, plugins, and just drag all the stuff in here. And you should have a full NRO file called Arcropolis. And that is where you're running your custom firmware on your modded Nintendo Switch. Or for Super Smash Bros. So now that you've installed your mods, all the other mods are really easy to install. They're all the same. You just drag and drop them in here. So that's going to be it for today's video, guys. I will switch over to my iPad and show you how, show you all the mods in there, all the and show you that the mods do work. So I'll I'll cut to there. If you install an instant attack pack, this is what it will say because this is an older version of modding. And then when you open up your thing, it should say new mods have been detected. And when it says that, that means you've got Super Smash Bros. mods working. And if that has not popped up for you, then restart this tutorial guide. And and then once you're done with that, re come to here again. Come to this part again so i will cut to the part where it, super smash bros pops up because some if you have a lot of mods and custom set mods it'll take longer to load for your game so let, let's just dive i'll cut to there and now when super smash bros loads up it should say arcropolis version 4 4.02 or whatever version yours is running on now, I, I downloaded a, a custom theme V99 menu. So open up this, 
and I'll go into training to show you the characters that I have downloaded and the custom maps. So I have my battlefield mod that I've had. And now that I'm in, I have brought Link HD um, by Mustaklo and the Goku mod by Mustaklo. Make sure to subscribe to his Patreon because he is a great modder and he makes great mods. And that's how you can get this Goku mod. So, recommend try doing that. And, and I will show you that it works. It may take longer to load in trading or anything like that. Just because, you know, it's mods. And there you go, now you have Goku. And now you have Goku in your Super Smash Bros. game, or whatever character you have added. And now, they will not always pop up like a character. They will, al they will also ha not have, always have char character, like, icons. Some will have just nor normal character. They'll look like a normal character, but they will still have mods. Like... I have my Ganondorf mod. No, no, no. I have my icon. And look, I have him. And him over a specific character. So, and I also have a mod over me too. Shout out to Mustako for making all of these mods that I have. Most of these mods on my screen right now. So that is how you get Super Smash Bros. mods on your Nintendo Switch. Now I will not make a Yuzu guide or anything like that. Just a Nintendo Switch. So that's going to be it for today's video guys. Peace.